Okay, this is uh, press number one for RFC 0806, 250-ton four-post up-acting press with outboard cylinders and pre-fill valve. Uh, the press has a um, Allen Bradley control system, which incorporates a dwell timer. Once the press is uh, closed, it requires both palm buttons being pushed and held through the cycle. Press closes. Once it comes up to tonnage, uh, the buttons can be released. The dwell timer times out and then the uh, dwell time light comes on and a beeper goes off which oscillates until the operator pushes the open button on the palm stand. The press is uh, hard guarded on three sides and skirted front and rear. Uh, the back has a hinged removable gate which has got an interlocked safety switch, keyed safety switch. If the back gate is opened it activates the second palm stand requiring two operators uh, pushing the palm buttons at the same time to close the press, holding them through the cycle until it's up and closed, and then they can be released, and then it goes through its dwell time once again. We're going to demonstrate a manual cycle first, which the press does not build tonnage. In manual, it will close and hold, but will not build tonnage. Then we will do an auto cycle, and then we will do an e-stop, and then we will do an auto cycle with uh, both palm stands being operated, first showing that the uh, press does not operate once the gate is open with just one palm stand. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, we're in manual, press can be closed for tool setting, does not build tonnage. Okay, operator has to push the open button to open the press and hold that. If you let go of the open button, if the, op if the operator releases the open button, the press will stop. Do that again. Okay, open it and then release that button halfway down. Press stops, requiring the operator to always make the control of the press. Okay. All right, let's do an auto cycle. Has to be switched over to auto. Both palm buttons pushed at the same time and held. Press goes up and fast, then goes into pressing which is controlled by the limit switches and is adjustable and spacing. Press comes up to full tonnage. Timer starts. Timer times out. Light comes on. Beeper starts. Operator can push the open button at that point, which decompresses the press and brings it back to the bottom position. Go ahead and do an auto cycle again. Let's do an e-stop halfway up. E-stop shuts everything down, all motors, all controls, press stays in that position. Now he's going to have to restart and go to manual, bring the press back down. All right, let's open that back gate in auto and then show that this stand doesn't work. Yeah, go ahead and open that gate. He's opening the gate now, which is interlocked. Once the gate is open, the front palm stand will not function with the press. It requires both operators. So now I'm going to go operate the second palm stand. Each palm stand has an OK to release light so that the operator knows that once they see the OK to release light come on, they can let go of the palm buttons. Now the operator has to push the open button. 
The primary operator, front operator, is the only one with the open button. The rear operator palm stand does not have an open button. That uh, completes press number one. We're going to do the same thing for press number two.